Hello and welcome back everyone. It's your girl Cassandra Olivia back with another video. This video today is sponsored by a company called Bia Hairs and I'm going to be showing you guys the packaging along with what comes inside. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to your girl on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at underscore Cassandra Olivia. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So today I'm going to be showing you Bia's hair. Um, they're ready to wear blonde wig. It comes with a bang. It's a curly 360 frontal wig. This is how it comes in the packaging along with the wig cap and it also comes with an adjustable strap. On the website, it does say that it's a blonde unit, but to be completely honest, this is not like blonde blonde. This is more like a honey brown, I'll say, or like a coppery color. But I mean, we can, we can call it blonde if they want to call it that. I'll let that slide. So this is a 360 lace wig. This is medium brown lace that they gave me along with the medium cap and the hair is 14 inches. I'm gonna show you guys in the video the picture that they sent me of this unit. It's similar, but it's not 100% like the picture they sent me, but I could still finesse it. And yeah, I'm gonna go in and pluck the unit and bleach the knots off camera, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. And it does have the clips and everything on the inside, which I opted not to use just because I'm gonna pop this on and keep it moving. So I'm just gonna show you guys the knots up close. This is before I bleach it. And I'm also showing you guys the bang area. It has a bang that's pre-cut, but to be honest, it's not enough hair out for me. I'm just showing you guys that little tiny piece of like bang situation. So I am gonna go in and cut the bang. Right now my hair is already braided, so I'm just gonna pop the wig on and kind of sit it on my head to see where I want it to sit. And then we'll play around and take it from there. Because this is a 360 wig, you can wear this up or down if you choose to, but you just have to make sure that you glue it down or sew it down. I decided to wear this clueless, so I didn't even worry about the back, but that is an additional option if you wanna wear your hair up. You definitely can do that. And the hairline will also need to be plucked as well. But because we're gonna wear this bang style, I didn't do too much to the hairline. I mostly just worried about bleaching the knots, and that was that. So now that that's all out the way, I'm just going ahead and I'm gonna start cutting the lace and then I'm gonna start placing this on my head where I want it to sit. Side note, I actually did my makeup this morning that I shot this video, but then I went to go bleach the knots and I took a little nap and my makeup looks crazy now. So I had to touch it up and throw my lashes back on. So just disregard, right now I don't have any lashes on. But off camera, I did go ahead after about two more minutes in this video, and I did fix my face a little bit more so I can look more alive. And I also added my lashes, so yeah, disregard. So I'm just sizing this, and I'm just adjusting the adjustable straps in the back, just because I want this wig to fit nice and snug because I do wanna wear a glueless. So you just wanna make sure you take your time with that and you're placing it on your head. You want it to be snug, but you don't want it to be too tight to where it's giving you a headache or it's putting too much tension on your hair. Too much tension can cause breakage and it can also cause terrible headaches and we don't want either. And as always, you just wanna make sure you take your time when you're cutting the lace and you're doing this as clean as possible. You just don't wanna to cut too much into the hairline because then you can mess up your hair. So you just wanna make sure that you're taking your time when you cut your lace. Okay, so she's all cut. So now I'm finally gonna pop her on. I'm going to place her where I want her to sit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start parting out that bang area because I do want it to look more similar like it did in the picture. And I just feel like it's not enough bangs for me. Right now it's just giving me wispy bangs, but I want like a more full bang if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna pull it, sit it how I want it on my head, exactly how I'm gonna wear it. And then I'm gonna cut the bangs. You wanna make sure if you cut the bangs on your head, it's actually gonna sit how you're gonna wear it. You don't wanna place it on your head, sloppily cut the bangs, and then you put it on a different way, and then you realize, oh shoot, I fucked the bangs up. So, disclaimer, just make sure you take your time, and when you cut bangs on your hair, you just have it placed on your head or your mannequin exactly how you're gonna wear it. So 
So here you're just gonna see me eyeballing it, playing around with a couple different styles before I actually go in to cut the hair. And then I'm also going to go off camera and saturate the hair with water, just so that way I can get like a curly feel. And also so that way when I cut my bangs, I can kind of get a better idea of where it's gonna sit. So because this is curly and I know when it gets wet, it's gonna get tighter, I wanna start my bangs longer, just so that way when they do dry and shrivel up, they're not too short. So this was me in the meantime, I had threw in my daughter's headband for whatever reason. And this is the picture of how the wig is supposed to look. So I'm just throwing that in there so you guys can just have a, an idea of what I'm working with. Another quick side note while I'm thinking about it, I am like a professional at home hairstylist and I'm also like a professional hairstylist in general. So you just wanna make sure when you're cutting your bangs, you know what you're doing and you take your time. If you're not sure, just please have somebody that knows what the heck they're doing to cut your bangs. Because like I said, there's nothing worse than cutting your bang too short and now you sit in there looking stupid. We've all done it. I can probably insert some pictures of bangs that I've done in the past, but I'm gonna save you guys the agony and save myself the embarrassment, but yeah. This is what we're working with on wet hair. Now just be mindful that it's going to shrivel up, meaning that it's not gonna be the length that it is now once it dries, so just keep that in mind. So I'm just going in and now I'm just adding some layers to it. And this is just me going back and forth. I'm adding layers. I'm kind of looking at it, eyeballing to see if I like it. I'm going back in, adding more layers, so on and so forth. I did try it long at first. I let it dry completely, but then I wasn't really feeling how long it was. It was just too much of a disconnect between like the top short pieces that they had and the ones I had blending in and like the hair in the back. It was just giving me like mullet vibes low key. So I did go in at the end and just cut my hair shoulder length and just to make it more chic, more, more me. So here we have Young Cast, and yeah, I'm giving you Rick James vibes right now, but we about to go in and cut this joint just a little bit, just a little bit. So, um, what's everybody up to? I am currently walking as I'm recording this outside, so if you hear nature, that is exactly what's going on because it's too much noise in my house right now, so I wanted to switch it up, and it's way too hot in the garage, so your girl is switching up. Also... I wanted to mention everything that I'm using is going to be down in the description box below along with any links from Be A Hair as well as any tools that I'm using. So be sure to check those out as well. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple ways that I would personally wear this and then we're going to go in and start cutting the hair finally. I feel like I've been rambling this whole video, but honestly guys, I'm super bored and I've been editing videos all day. So it feels like a never ending cycle at this point, but I'm getting ready to head out finally. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Monday evening. I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive day, evening, night, morning, wherever you're at. And I will see you guys in the next video. Comment down below if you wanna see more videos like this, if you've tried this unit or if you like this unit in particular. Um, for me on a scale of one to 10, I'll give it like about a seven. But I'm going to be honest, it's not something I would particularly go for just because of the color. I either do super bold colors or like brown. So this is a little bit different for me, but it's cute. She's she's definitely cute for like a night out with the girls or something. But I'm Audi. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single last one of you guys. And I will see you in my next video. All right. Bye.